Hello everybody, my name's Debbie Coombs. I'd like to wish you all a very warm welcome to the Built Environment Campus. Within the Built Environment Campus, you'll find the Head of School for Construction, Mark Ames, the Head of School for Building Services and Engineering and Plumbing, David Warren, and the Head of School for Electrical Technical, Stuart Hart. I'd now like to hand over to Mark Ames. Hello, my name is Mark Ames. I'm the Head of Construction for West Suffolk College. If you have a practical hands-on and you're that type of person who likes working outside, you may be considering brickwork. Brickwork requires you to be patient and work to strict measurements and controls. Progression after completion of the brickwork level one is either onto the level two course or even you may consider an apprenticeship there are many excellent job opportunities out there at the moment with lots of construction projects coming up in our local area. Another area in construction that we offer is carpentry. Again requiring patience and strict measurement controls, our carpentry course takes you through basic wood joints, progressing onto doors, windows, staircases and roofs. Progression is also onto our level two course or perhaps an apprenticeship with one of the many carpentry and joinery companies that we work with. If you are more of a creative nature you may be considering our painting and decorating course involving painting, wall covering, spraying and many other different decorative effects. Progression also is through our level two course and also an apprenticeship within the painting and decorating trade. If you are unsure of which trade to follow or wish to enter the trade of property maintenance, we can offer you our construction crafts and property maintenance course. Within this course, you will learn the basic principles of bricklaying, painting, decorating, carpentry, plastering, rendering, and plumbing. Completion of this course would allow entry into our level two program of property maintenance, which is sponsored by Flagship Homes. Flagship Homes is a large maintenance company which looks after numerous properties within the east of England. Completion of the course will also allow you a guaranteed interview with Flagship Homes for one of their apprenticeships. Our construction built environment course is a level three BTEC course going over two years. It is designed for those that wish to enter construction management or may be surveying or even becoming an architect. Completion of this will allow progression onto an HNC, a higher national certificate or higher national diploma, or even will gain you points to allow you to progress onto university. Our Anglian Water Alliances course will provide a basic groundwork level two qualification, but that qualification is sponsored by Anglian Water. Completion of this course will guarantee an interview with Anglian Water for an apprenticeship with one of their Alliance partners. Thank you, Mark. My name is David Warren and I am Head of Building Services Engineering and Plumbing here at The Built Environment. Our provision is at present we currently offer Level 1 Diploma in Plumbing which is a foundation course into the realm of plumbing. We also offer a Level 2 Technical in Plumbing which is our more in-depth course which covers things like hot water, cold water, central heating and drainage etc. Also new for 2020 we have Level 2 Building Services Engineering and this is a multi-skills type course for building services engineering which covers refrigeration, air conditioning, heating and vent, plumbing and electrical. Our suite of courses complement one another and allow for potential progression both into industry via an apprenticeship and also full employment. I would love to consider you for the School of Building Services Engineering and welcome your application or if you would just like to find out more please feel free to call and speak to a member of my team. All our courses are recognised by industry and can lead to many different roles within the building services engineering sector. With regards to our employer and industry encounters, we have many different employers and industry experts that give their time 
to come into the college to do tech talks and demonstrations. The students find these very informative and gives them a glimpse of what to expect in the workplace. It is also a chance for students to network and make future contacts. We encourage enrichment and we annually have students able, who are able to take part in both regional and national competitions like the HIP Apprentice of the Year, which we have had previous winners and finalists, and also World Skills UK, where we do heats. What makes us different? Well, I'd like to think that we have a wealth of industry knowledge within our friendly team, and this comes across in both our theory and workshop sessions. Our vast and industry equipped workshop is bang up to date, meeting the needs of a growing sector and a local job market. Progression. The impact of coming into the West, West Suffolk College and doing a course within Build and Service Environment and Plumbing is that we see a great majority of our students return as apprentices and then go into doing their chosen career out in industry. I feel that this is a reflection of both our passion to teach and our employer links. Do watch the college fly through and see our facilities, the workshop and classrooms, etc. And I look forward to seeing your application. I'm now going to hand you over to Stuart Hart. Hello, I'm Stuart Hart and I'm the head of department for the electrotechnical courses here at West Suffolk College. Unlike Mark and Dave, we're actually based on the sixth form campus site, uh, having recently moved from Milburn. Um, so we're now building new workshops and developing an even better facility than we previously had last year down at TMC. My staff and myself, we're all um, industry time served. Some of us have been self-employed in the past, so we've got a full range of experience on electrical installations, domestic, commercial, industrial, as well as on the distribution network side. Uh, so we can cover all uh, ranges and bases of knowledge for the entire electrical industry. Our courses are a varied level. We start with level one. Level one is an introduction to electrical installation. It's a unitized course. So our students will take uh, exams in health and safety, uh, science and principles, workshop practices, and so on and so forth. Uh, and it's designed as a foundation course. Uh, for those who may not have got quite the academic skills that we need for level two. Entry criteria is grade four for uh, maths and three for English. Successful completion of level one means that students can move on to level two. We also have direct entry at level two, subject having grade five maths, grade four English, uh, GCSEs. The level two is a technical certificate, as Dave mentioned with regards to plumbing. Uh, so it's like a GCSE in that we have uh, one uh, five part practical assessment. Uh, and then there's also a single uh, theory exam, which is a written exam, and that's held in April. Uh, our attendance is three days a week. Uh, but we do ask students to do work at home outside of those hours due to the nature of the course and the complexity. There is homework, unfortunately, so we do need uh, support from parents uh, and guardians and mentors and family members with helping our students to have the uh, time and the quiet, if necessary, to do that work. Successful completion of level two means we can move on to level three, which is the advanced diploma. The layout of the qualification is very similar to level two, but it's more um, theory based. The emphasis is on advanced theory with inspection, testing and fault diagnosis units as well. Uh, so we're developing the full skill range for the student. Completion of level two would then mean the student would need to look towards getting an apprenticeship to complete their uh, logbook or portfolio of evidence uh, and their endpoint assessment, the AM2 test. Once you've completed your AM2, you are then a qualified electrician. We also offer 
uh, short courses for practicing electricians who are looking to upskill. These courses are the 2391 inspection and testing. Uh, we offer portable appliance testing courses, that's the 2377, and the 18th edition wiring regulations, the 2382. All of our courses are City and Guilds uh, accredited. Uh, some of our staff also work for City and Guilds uh, in writing courses and adding to syllabus uh, requirements and assessments, etc. So we've got good links with industry that way as well. We also ask all our full time students on level two and level three to have uh, 30 to 40 hours work experience per year uh, with uh, an electrical company. And we've found over the last couple of three years that that has led to many offers of apprenticeships. So it's well worth um, the taking the opportunity to go out and look for some work experience. If you've got any more uh, questions, comments, or, or just any anything in general, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. We're more than happy to uh, have a quick phone call or an email discussion uh, about any points relating to our electrical courses. I think Mark is now going to carry on explaining uh, some more about the college in general. All of our courses are classed as full time. Full times means that you will be in three days a week, typically from 9.15 until 4.15. A lot of the work that you do will be practical, but there will be a theory element to each of the courses. As well as doing the actual main course, you will have to do GCSE or maybe functional skills at maths and English if you haven't already achieved a level four qualification. Also included within the course are one hour a week there will be a personal social development time where you will work along with your personal support tutors and also included within the course is 40 hours work experience which we will help you with if you cannot find an employer. All of our courses provide industry recognised qualifications from City and Guilds, from Pearson's BTEX to Gateway to Edexcel. The assessment methods for the qualifications all vary depending upon which qualification you are doing. But within most of the qualifications, there will be practical assessments. There will be verbal questionings. You will be doing online exams or you will be handing in written assignments. To help enhance your chosen course, we like to try and include an enrichment element. Either working with the NCS, the National Citizen Service, to help promote team building. And we also work with local experts and local employers to offer experiences within your chosen field. Apart from looking for a qualified operative, employers often tell us they're looking for somebody who is work ready. Somebody that has had real work experience. To that end, we have developed our Milburn Innovation Park, an area where the skills that are learned within the workshops can then be put into practice in a real working experience. At the built environment campus, we have a long tradition in entering competitions to show off the skills of our learners and compete at national and world levels. We have won gold medals within decorating and carpentry and won national competitions with our plumbing students. After you have achieved your qualification, what next? It's all about progression progression onto level two, the next level, or even maybe into an apprenticeship. Maybe you're looking at full-time employment or progressing even further into higher education to progress onto a higher national certificate or higher national diploma, or even a degree in university. So now that you have seen and heard what we have to offer, please get in touch if you have any more questions 
or apply online and come and start your journey into the great world of construction and become part of our outstanding campus.